Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Jamie Yaqeen Udin. Uh, I became Muslim in 2004. That's when I took my shahada and I joined the Ahmadiyya community in February of 2020. I had, uh, I had heard a little bit about it. Um, I guess that was the previous summer. Uh, so summer of 2019. And then in February 2020 was when I signed the bot papers. Uh, we prayed Isha together and sat with the Imam uh, Farhan over there and just kind of covered everything. I had already read quite a bit and learned a little bit about the, the Promised Messiah and a lot of the, um, I guess, the politics surrounding it, the, uh, the animosity from other sects of Islam and stuff like that. And so going to the masjid and, and speaking with the Imam directly gave me an opportunity to, to learn a little bit more and ask some questions that I'd had. And, uh, and get some really like easy answers that just made sense. So I grew up, uh, I was Roman Catholic, born Roman Catholic, and was Christian my whole life. Uh, wound up facing some pretty difficult trials and uh, going through some hardships. And as a result of that, I just lost my faith, I guess it's, I could say. And when I was introduced to the Quran, I had a whole lot of preconceived notions uh, about Muslims, Islam, the Quran, uh, the entire thing. You know, a lot of preconceived notions, a lot of ignorant. But, and after reading the Quran and actually having like a, a, an emotional response to it where I could feel it in my heart. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ida ja'a it's, uh, it's something beautiful, you know, that I wish I was able to share more of, I guess, or like, I wish people knew, you know, I wish they, they, they could feel the same thing or have an opportunity to experience it rather than shut it down. I guess the connection, like that, that direct connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has just helped me through everything, has let me know I'm not alone, has given me an opportunity to face whatever was coming my way bravely, you know, boldly, knowing that, you know, nothing, just like it says in the Quran, that nothing would be put in my way that I couldn't overcome, nothing would be too much for me to bear. And as things happen and as, you know, again, like life happens and it's all for something, you know, it's all like as you go through these things and as you overcome things, as long as you have your faith that it's all for something and when you have faith and you have that direct connection with Allah you know and you can ask him for anything knowing that there's nothing that can knock me down nothing that can hurt me nothing that can take me out or 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 that it's going to be too much to bear or that's going to crush me and it just put it's 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 just really given me a new I guess a new perspective where I'm much less stressed out, where I take things in stride and where I feel like okay even in the worst of times.